In 2006, we were commissioned to do a custom mural for Doug's Fish Fries expansion in Skinny Atlas, New York. Measuring 38 by 6 and a half feet, this mural is one of the largest, most complex paintings Kathy and I have ever done. The owner wanted specific people, boats, landmarks, and details, all of which required photo references. To prepare for the mural, the correct perspective was required as a reference. We went down to the lakeside, the park in Skinny Atlas, and photographed from left to right multiple photos that were stitched together digitally, combining them all to capture the entire scene accurately. We used this photo as a guide. There were over 300 reference photos used in all before this mural was completed. At almost 300 square feet, the mural took months to complete with constant additions. We were adding people even a year after the actual mural was completed. Reporter Mike Price from News Channel 9 TV in Syracuse interviewed us as we were working, and the local paper ran a full-page article about it. Expansion and renovation of Dark's Fish Fry in Skinny Atlas. Something special was included to really set the tone. Artist Elliot Matisse and his assistant Kathy Mayo have been working on a 38 by 7 foot wall mural that depicts a view of Skinny Atlas Lake looking south from Route 20 in the village. Doug and Mark uh, from the Fish Fry, of course, told us what they wanted in the mural and uh, very specific about what people, what boats, what, what buildings were to go in it. And so last summer we came out and took a panoramic picture visually of the entire scene. Many of the people in the mural are real people, such as founder, uh, uh, founder Doug Clark and his son and daughter, owner Mark Edwards and his daughter, and several others. Perhaps the hardest part of painting a mural like this is maintaining perspective. It's so drawn into the work, the fine detail that you sort of forget to step back. So you have to step back every, every so often. So you don't lose perspective. Here at Skinny Atlas, people have been so positive about it. I don't think we've ever worked on anything. Looking in the mural and meeting all the people and hearing their positive uh, input, we felt very close to the people of Skinny Atlas and hope that the mural stands as a piece of artwork that people can look at years and years from now.